Hello everyone, Moofthorned here, and today we're doing the final episode. I don't know if I can handle this giant bird man. He may even be wearing lugs, but I don't know. I can't confirm. All I know is I'm not wearing lugs, so... My feet, nah. They're just not the same. <laughs> so the Tainted Nectar gets a consumable. It's a Tainted Nectar unfit for consumption. I don't know how this is going to be with one-hit kills. So far... The bosses have been pretty fun, for the most part. I think Tarsus actually ended up being the hardest. Second hardest was Crucix, or Kreukix. I don't really know his name. I call him Chest Dwarf. But this guy, I think, is going to be the hardest because of those swarms of obsidian uh, guys <laughs> he sends out after you. Oh, there's another crossbow lady. I set a parameter for myself to where I couldn't run through an area unless I defeated the enemies first. But I kind of still ran through some parts just because of the crossbows. It's pretty cheap crossbow stuff. At least when you have such a low health bar that you die in one hit. What's that do not see me? I Hope you're doing well, my man. That's a weird little thing that happens when you load in. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's just like loading. Probably just loading, that's my guess. Uh, smacked in the face. Zorik, what's up? Got in early this time. You did indeed. Just started three minutes ago. You like doing that in Souls games? I feel a lot of the challenge runs just run past all the enemies. Yeah, I think <clears throat> like the point of the challenge run isn't just to like run past everything. <laughs> I've killed your flesh. <clears throat> but they don't really stop you. That's why I wish there was a like a specific change in the game that happened when you took on the obsidian dark shell form. And it like prevented you from running unless you killed all the enemies. A few other tweaks, I mean. Don't want to make it just harder. But Okay, well. There's no ground there. It looked like there might be some ground, but there was no ground. I'm doing all right, my man. I've been looking forward to this all day. Looking forward to it and also I dreading it. Safe. Because who knows how hard it's going to be at Final Boss. I can't even get past the first little area so far. Wondering about what sort of mic setup you use. I have a $20 lav mic 
on a wire. Nothing fancy. It's uh, probably the cheapest setup you can get. I forget the brand. I can look it up eventually, though. You send me a message on Facebook or something, I can definitely get that to you. Got the hard part done. Like this, I wouldn't even say you have to fight this guy, but he's so easy, might as well. So now we can run past the first area. Rowan, what's going on? Isn't there... Isn't the little girl in Wicker Man named Rowan? Oh no, not a Revenant. Pardon, too late. How does it connect when you stream into the controller or... Well, I'm streaming through my laptop. So I have the Elgato plugged into the TV and my laptop. And then I just have the, it's like a USB mic plugged into the laptop. So, pretty easy. I've kept your image safe. But if you're just streaming through your PlayStation 4, you can definitely get a mic plugged into the PS4 or the controller. And that will work. Though for some reason, they always seem to have some kind of weird... Something weird is always going on. If it's not the sound, it's like too high pitch or too low pitch or there's echo or something. I don't know. Maybe I should just mess with it a little bit more. One thing I always have to mess with with the mics is getting it the right distance from your mouth and having the right value <laughs> for your voice. What's up, Robert? Barehanded, armorless, bloodborne run the win. I don't know about that, Rowan. <laughs> Unless you're using like the cause fist. That might be fun. You have the very uncommon spelt one. I've kept your flesh safe, Downing. Mic sounds good to me. Yeah, the lab mics <clears throat> are really good. Usually, even the cheap ones. I meant the the mics plugged into the controller or the PlayStation. For some reason, always had a weird issue. Not the lab mic. The lab mic, I just had to adjust the volume and the distance to your mouth. Or my mouth, in this case. They also have a tendency to pick up not only your mouth, but they seem to do a better job of picking up only your mouth. Because, like, I'm sitting here right by my controller, and it seems like 
you don't really hear many button pushes. I mean, sometimes if I'm really smashing it, I'm sure you guys can probably hear that. But they seem to be directed mostly at your mouth, so that's what you want. I did get a headset from... It wasn't Turtle Beach. I've kept your flesh safe, Balmain. Was it Steel Series? I think it was Steel Series where they said the mic technology was used by the Air Force to pick up only your mouth. And I just thought it was like a weird kind of high pitched sound. But maybe I just need to adjust that as well. It actually broke. <laughs> and I uh, sent in for a new one and I never even used it. It's like brand new in a box. <laughs> Okay, and now we're in the newer part. Gotta watch out for them revenants, man. I don't think I'm going to make myself fight those guys. <laughs> eh. Hey, man. You've done Naked Fist Run only in Dark Souls 2 with the ring that gives you the power stance. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Champion's Covenant Ring. Vanquisher's Seal. Okay, cool. Is a noob. What's going on? What's good? I had a really good burger from Wendy's for dinner. That was good. She did not like that. I love how you get resolved from just slashing dead bodies. Oh no! <laughs> Who shot me? Oh, I see her back there. Dang it, okay. I'll go the other way that time. Players would think you're joking <laughs> and strip down for fist battles, so then you just dominate. Dude. Good stuff. You're just platinum Dark Souls 3. Whoa. Your flesh More good stuff. I have not platinumed. Platinum -ed. Dark Souls 3. I rarely try to get all the trophies for a game. Like, the trophies they put on there are cool and all, but I find the challenges I set for myself are usually more fun. Your main build was quality with the Kaistus. What about the Dragon Bone Fist, though? That thing was freaking awesome. Get in there. <laughs> Oh. The loaded screens in this game are right out of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Mm, that is true. What's up, Solar? So I know I promised not to watch any Demon Souls videos, but I did watch a little PvP 
And it seems like everyone's going to be doing 120. But I don't like 120. I think it's too high for Demon Souls. Because everyone is just going to get Second Chance. Which is, if you're not familiar with Second Chance in Demon Souls, it is Tears of Denial, except instead of surviving with one HP, you actually get healed up to half your health. So it's freaking crazy. And if you go up to 120, like, everyone's going to have that. So... I think I'm probably going to end up PvPing at, like, 80. It seems like the diminishing returns are around 30. So... Shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, dang it, I hit only the big guy. Rat. Hands of God for the win. Oh man, hands of God. Gotta use them. You haven't watched any Demon Souls? Good for you as a noob. I'm not gonna watch any more. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to watch any more, anyways. Chikrin, what's up? Got Bloodborne Platinum. Souls Plats are crazy comprehensive. Indeed. I've kept your flesh safe. Second chance is possible at soul level six. <laughs> well, I don't even remember what you need for it. I didn't. Maybe I can look up the items and the weapons and the miracles and stuff. That's not watching videos, technically. Hmm, that'll work. You have bone fist on your build too? Nice. That bone fist, dude. The freaking like shoulder check and that freaking kick were just so cool. Oh god, he got me. I can't believe he got me. Right arrow. In one cast, this switches to Bone Fist, so my fighting stance changes. Call your main build the Brawler Knight. That's pretty cool, man. I like it. Imagine trying to fight Orphan of Cause barehanded, no damage. <laughs> I, I don't even want to try. I don't even want to think about it. 120 definitely was the Demon Souls meta back in the day. I've kept your flesh safe. I don't that doubt that. I just think it's too high. Oh, I'm definitely going to do some Demon Souls builds. I mean, 120 is like... You use all your stats from two games, basically. Not stats. You use all your souls to pump up your stats from two whole games. So it seems unnecessary. Good luck with Firestorm. Good old Firestorm. See, I wish... Brown Point and FromSoft... Oh no! Now I got Crossbow. I wish they would've... did a better job with Demon Souls, put more time into like balancing the stuff. But then again, they maybe would've just messed it up. But it would have been nice if they. <laughs> What's up, Hussein? I'm probably going to do like one or two 120 builds. I thought she was just going to jump off the side there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> of course. The PS5 list. That's us. Any game that has barehanded builds should allow you to perform pro wrestling moves. <laughs> you know what pops into my head? 
Resident Evil 4. Leon doing that back-to-belly suplex. <laughs> or was it a belly-to-belly? -belly? I don't remember. It was a cool suplex, regardless. I'm gonna have to work out my rolling. So have you guys had the pub burger from Wendy's? I had that for dinner today. Oh man, it's so good. It's got burger, monster cheese, pub mustard sauce, and is that it? it might be it. No, it has onion rings, like little onion crispies. Stupid Revenant. <laughs> yeah. Can wait for me to play Demon Souls. I'll be down to do some PvP and co-op with you. Well, I'll be down to do some PvP and co-op with you. You just gotta <laughs> wait till I get one. Watching CQCs and MGS5 was great. It was, man. You made smash burgers for dinner. <laughs> That's so cool. We we're just talking about getting burgers for dinner today, yesterday. Talking yesterday about burger today. What exactly is a smash burger? Is it like when you get a burger and then you smash it? I mean, like you get the ground beef and like smash it. I I don't know. <laughs> I like when the ground beef has like 20% fat. Mm. You don't eat cow, but you do eat pork, turkey, or buffalo. I've never had a turkey burger, but I've had buffalo burger and ostrich burger. Actually, I probably had turkey burger. I'm sure I did. Yes, I did. They're not bad. Never got your burger today? Oh. Poor Zorak. There's always Tamario. Got a large bolt. Okay, roll. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. Okay. So this is just going to be a nightmare zone, so I'm going to run. And this is a nightmare zone on normal mode. So, oh, shellless. Obviously you're going to run. I almost just killed myself. I don't know how I even redirected my roll like that. But I made it through the archers. It just took five minutes rolling nonstop. Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, I thought the elevator wasn't going to work. And then I was going to get shot in the back of the head with the crossbow. You'll get one. Have you been trying or you're just going to wait till it's easier to get one? I've been trying, but like, I don't know what else you can do other than just check the websites every once in a while. Oh, no. No. <laughs> well, I got the rundown. I think I should be able to make it. You don't have a Wendy's anywhere near you, dang. 
Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4 had way cooler CQC. 5, it felt like they simplified it too much. Gosh, it's been so long since I played those, but the online portion of Metal Gear Solid 4, I played all the time. I loved it so much. The portion for 5, I liked, but I, I didn't play it as much. You'd have to drive like four hours. Well, I don't think it's worth that. Speaking of PlayStation 5, let's check the website. Got a uh, direct.playstation.com up. Let me just refresh. Oh, they're out of stock still. I heard they're actually going to sell some in stores now. Because bots have just been buying them all. I bet I'd have one right now if the bots didn't just suck them all up. Friggin' bots. I think you smash the patty in the pan and it makes it more crispy on the edges. Oh, dude. Have you ever ate at Shoops? Or is that just, like, a local thing? There's actually a Shoops in the mall now, so maybe not. If they're a chain... They could still be a local chain, I guess, but... Dude, I love Shoops burgers. They have the crispy edges. The patty melts they have are probably my favorite from them. Tools video game. You get a meatball and then squish it flat in the pan. You get a great char, but it's still juicy. And 80-20 is the best. Nice. Gotta get that 80-20. Imagine if there was no iframes there. <laughs> What's up, video games, Kira? Oh my god. This sword is doing a lot of damage now that I upgraded it to the max. Roll, 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 roll. So I was cleaning my house earlier I think it reduced the musty smell a bit actually I was saying yesterday I found a little hole in the floor up from the bottom like if you're in the crawl space and you look up at the very edge where the bathroom tub is there's like a hole there so, I think before I installed my new tub surround and stuff, the previous owners had a leak there. And that made a nice moldy hole in the floor. But I like did some vacuuming and scrubbed down the side of my refrigerator. <laughs> I got my friend's old refrigerator. It had some gunk on it. I cleaned that. I cleaned the countertop. And I have this weird, like, air cleaner that has a UV light in it. A little teeny fan with a UV light, and it, like, sucks in particles and kills them with the power of the sun. It was actually smelling pretty good over there. I have to at least earn my checkpoint by fighting these guys. Those little phantom guys in Dark Souls 2 were pretty cool. What was the name of that area? The Catacombs? I don't know, but I liked them. They had the blue flame. That was such a cool sword. When you find a mortal shell, shepherd them to me. Turkey burgers are pretty nice sometimes. Of what makes them human. 
I usually go with beef, but I'll definitely eat a turkey burger, Xerox. You have to kill all the crossbow ladies guarding the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know if it's possible. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> Not without the... I don't even think with the Ballista Zuka it would be possible. I, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's not possible. <laughs> friend of mine and I play Souls, or a friend of yours you play Souls with, said he camped for nine hours at Fred Meyers with his brother and scored one on Black Friday. I don't know of any stores that actually sold them in my area. People are going to some extreme lengths to get PS5s. Moldy Hole is your middle name. <laughs> they call me Old Moldy Hole. I love all vari whole varieties, but there's nothing quite like a Moldy Hole. Undead Crypt, yes, that's what it's called. Not the Humanity Phantoms. The guys in Dark Souls 2, they're like a little dude in a cloak with no legs, basically. Give me that resolve. I like his pointy toes. You guys know I like pointy toes. If you've seen that pair of shoes I got. My Fluvog. Oh, dear lord. Oh my god, that was close. No, is that two crossbow ladies? You know what time it is. Keep on rolling, baby. Keep on rolling, 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 rolling. What? Oh my god, can you imagine rolling down stone steps? You'd die. You would be dead. <laughs> I love that. Oh! Where'd he come from? <laughs> Freaking two swords got me. If you parry or post these guys, it always kills them in one hit. The Revenants? The Catacombs is in three. I think it's the Crypt. Where Velstad is guarding the king. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The guys that come out when you ring the bells, yep. They dropped the Spell Parry Shield and the Blue Flame Catalyst Sword. I think they're called Letty Apartments. I've kept your flesh safe, Balmain. Yeah, those are the guys. Not the Desert Pyromancer. <laughs> they kind of get annoying after a while when you're stuck between all those tombstones, but there's a couple spots where it's just like really cool. Even the tombstones parts can be fun at times. <laughs> you see that attack cancel I did? I was like, mm, that's not a good idea. Let's not do that. Smash, smash, smash burger. All right, let's destroy our back by rolling down some steps. You can just hear those bolts flying over my head. All right, so there's a guy to the left, I guess. Let's get him out of the way. Let's 
so we can fight the mirrored hammer man Ooh, took him out so I got lost here before I was like oh well that's a dead end oh this is a dead end <laughs> and I just went back up I think it was my first playthrough but you can actually keep going this way Taking no chances. I think I'm gonna fly backwards. <laughs> yep. No, 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 no! Oh! Wow! Freaking clutch roll. I didn't even do that on purpose. Well, I didn't do it at all. It was <laughs> just the normal get up roll. Speaking of Get Up Roll and earlier Metal Gear Solid 4's online portion, I love how you would actually get up quicker if you hit triangle to roll onto your stomach first. Instead of trying to get up from your back. One time I was actually laying on the ground and I was like, I wonder if that actually does anything. Let me try that. And then I rolled on my stomach and you actually can get up a whole lot quicker from your stomach like if you just do a little push-up and then pull your knee up to get your foot on the ground I was like damn Metal Gear Online is awesome it's like the cheese rolling competition we have in Southwest England <laughs> love Dark Souls 2 got a few friends back in Seoul so I've been playing through Dark Souls 2 and 3 again having a blast Ghastly ghouls. Yeah, surrounded, not fun. You were doing some DLC invasions and got a salty message from Spain. <laughs> I hardly get any messages at all. I get a few on cross out. Oh, you get them all the time, Chikrin? I want some angry people. Not really. I'm fine with no messages. I have my notifications turned off anyways. I just don't want them to pop up in the video. Which <laughs> happens if you leave them on. I remember on my Lothric sword, Lothric straight sword video, someone sent me a message that was fist me daddy, right in the intro of the video. And I was like, you know what? We'll just, we're gonna leave it there. As a reminder to turn those notifications off as his hammer topples over the edge. All right. I wonder if that helps. Yeah, the one on the left didn't shoot anything. Lego brick? Someone said that sounds like a Lego brick, and now I can't get it out of my head. Let's friggin' jump attack that dude. What do you need to do besides just jump attacks? Nothing. Oh no, Revenants. I love how you can hit people twice with the... I'm alive! With a running attack. If you do the harden in the right time.
Power poke. Oh no, it missed! Dang. She got me again. Friggin' rapier woman. Don't get many messages anymore. A lot of rage quitters. Yep. Epic dodge indeed. Always used to get called a hacker and a cheat. That's what happens when you're good. You turn off your messages due to how people were, how vile people were getting. <laughs> Like messaging people telling them they're good if they are actually beating you. Very, very honorable of you, sir. Almost rolled off the sun. Got him. For some reason, I just can't get past that one <laughs> silly little rapier woman. <whistles> the bird bow. Crossbow that shoots birds at you. Look at that pose. I always hit that guy. Resolve attack just hones in on him like nobody's business. What a punch. That was a really slow get up. Speaking of getting up. Wasn't pretty, but we got it. Now we just need to take her down. There we go. And the fire finishes her off. No trouble. Oh, I guess I had some iframes. Probably should have killed me. Oh, got a harden. Got me cornered. Oh, that Revenant. I don't know where he's at. Might pop up out of nowhere and kill me. Okay. Got him. Excellent. That's how it's done. Bunch of dirty fart people. What I think of Sekiro, you never finished it. Got about five bosses five bosses in and was not enjoying it. Enough to keep going. I thought it was a really fun change of pace. 
but I prefer Dark Souls. And I said I really wanted a like boss rush new game. Cause that's like the funnest thing to do. When you find them. And I think they actually added that. Is that true? They added a boss rush? I haven't actually played it since, I don't know. Didn't have a lot of time to play when it came out. Took a time to learn the mechanics. Yeah, the mechanics took a while for me to get used to, for sure. If someone sends you hate mail, you tell them you love them. <laughs> One time, I don't remember what he said, but this guy was like all mad. And all I said was, I think your emotions are preventing you from thinking clearly. And then, like, he just stopped talking. <laughs> it was like I blew his mind. Ah, that was a good time. I wish I could relive that moment. I heard some girl say she wants me to die in my sleep on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> uh. You miss bridge PvP? Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I I got the big guys down, Pat. <laughs> you were a toxic gesture spamming dishonorable bastard in your Dark Souls 2 days. <laughs> they added a gauntlet thing to Sekiro. I didn't bother. Main game was enough for me. I might try it out. The thing with me and Sekiro is that I think you need a bigger TV than what I have. They could remedy that by putting the camera in a little closer, but I don't know if that would make things harder to see. I think the best solution is probably going to be to make those little symbols that appear when they do the unblockables different. You need a symbol for the jump and a symbol for the dodge. That way I know which button to push, because it's hard for me to see. I'll have to get a bigger telly, though. I wish the blue sentinel arena didn't require to have token of fidelity to use. Yeah, I do too, man. Sucks. Airdrum, I love you. Airdrum is my favorite for sure. Sester's Binding. For the hammer and chiz chiz. Or the chisel basher. Tainted Nectar. Oh my god, what? What did I knock off the side there? Probably just a gourd or somebody's cup. All right, we're doing some damage. If you go this way, you can get right to the Hub. Poking him. Need a few more. Oh no. 
Disappeared. I feel like you can't run. Because then those guys will fall on your head. And when you ain't got a shell, you're instantly dead. Was that that flew past the screen? I'm getting used to this shellless hollow sword style. We're almost to the hub, and then that means we're almost at the final boss. Shoot, my leg. My leg! It's fine. The gold protects me. Tar Blackman Goldman. When you find him, pick. Whew. We made it. Some guys told you all sorts of horrible stuff they're going to do to you, even on Rocket League. Hey, people are dumb. I don't know how you get so dumb as a person, but... I think what... The average IQ is, I think, 100. I mean, 100 is not that bad. But, you know, not the best. <laughs> You booted up Dark Souls 2 on your PS5 the other day to see how it ran. Seemed it was fine, loaded real fast. Dang, how does that work when you're playing like your PS4 games on the PlayStation 5? You just put the disc in and you're all good? Over time, I have mended my dishonorable ways, but I still take pleasure in a bit of toxicity here and there. <laughs> A little bit here and there is fine. Especially like among friends. Like when you're just playing with your friends. You can do whatever you want. Because it's your mates. Unless you're having like an honorable tournament or something. Did a PvP match in the Blood Arena. In the Maze one. And the guy obviously did a lot of PvP. It was like a 10 minute fight. Where you finally won. 10 minute fight, jeez. That's a long time for a Dark Souls fight. Wonder what happens if you use the tainted nectar without a shell. Oh, that's what knocks you from your shell, right? Nice. Yeah, you gotta get on that, Robert. Upload those things. And stop uploading because of your studies. Studies are important. Yeah, if you got a lot saved up, might as well. When you turn on your PlayStation 5 for the first time, it asks if you want to sync your PlayStation 4, which you did. Then you can download games you want to play. That is so cool. So do you have to have your PlayStation 4 hooked up to do that? Cause I'm definitely sinking, baby. Let me try tainted nectar though. You know what? Let me beat the boss first. <laughs> I don't want it to like mess me up. What's up, Jonathan? To deliver this final 
I guess this guy's a foundling. I'm not sure exactly what it is, though. It is they don't necessarily explain it. And not those who are worshipped. Hand it over and claim the honor to witness what's true. Stay back. I will not waste this divine gift. So cool. Thanks, don't see me. Good to know. like the PlayStation 5 needs some more storage. I'll probably have to get an external SSD too. This is the spot, the final boss, and I'm scared, but I'm gold. You know you can do it if you're golden. the hole in my floor led to this place <laughs> just widen the moldy hole a little bit and you just go into the ethereal realm Sony is going to approve SSD for internal expansion storage. Oh, they got to, man. They got to. Or make their systems with like twice the amount of storage, plus like Sony branded expansion storage. I might have said it already, but the game is definitely odd. <laughs> okay. Power poke. I fought this guy many times before. But still, dying in one hit is kind of rough. So freaking quick though. Oh, I thought he was gonna do the dive. No! See, dude! Ah, oh, damn it. See, I, I knew that was gonna be what killed me when those freaking guys come out. Oh, you never saw this game before, Jonathan? It's pretty good. 
If you like Dark Souls, definitely check it out. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like them. Don't see me. We're not calling the worm fish. We're calling the worm fish. Oh god. Dude, it looked like I dodged it, but he also killed me. What is that guy's name? The Gworm Vendor in Dark Souls 2. Oh my god. Why can't I think of his name? Pox, what's going on? What if you stood in your toilet and flushed it? <laughs> you ended up here. This guy would be all poopy. I used to <laughs> call my cat Spooky Pooper because one time I was putting laundry into the dryer and I heard this weird scratching noise and I looked over and Spooky was just perched on the side of the litter box taking a dump staring at me with his head turned to the side. It was like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> No idea where he was. Gabler, thank you. I don't know why I, I couldn't think of that. What's that thing when you turn into stone and then come out of swinging? That is called, believe it or not, hardening. <laughs> it's like blocking from Dark Souls, except you just turn to stone. It's pretty much what you do to be invulnerable. Once you get hit, you're out of that hardened stance. But while you're hardened, you don't take any damage at all. Oh, he fell on me and I died. And there was a bubble. <laughs> How does this game's world building and level design compare to the Souls games? The world building, I mean, there's like some item descriptions. Everything's very vague. I think the Dark Souls world building is a little... Oh, what's the word? I can't... What am I trying to say? It's like... Not as good as everyone says it is, but, I mean, it's still good. I wish there was a little more in the way of, like, cutscenes and stuff. I like all the item descriptions, but... I think they need to add a little something more besides just item descriptions. And this game has, like, even less than Dark Souls. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I missed him. Oh my god, it's almost waved. I really like how the first Resident Evil had a bunch of files you can read. And that's kind of like how you got the story. People's diaries and stuff. I mean, sometimes it didn't make sense. Like, everyone's using a diary. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Oh, did I get killed by a stupid wave? Damn. The spooky pooper. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. Hendrick, what's going on? Grilling some lamb chops. Nice. I like some lamb. I like that really kind of like chewy jerky lamb. The best. Demon Souls had the best world, in my opinion, followed by Bloodborne. I, I definitely agree there. I think Demon Souls had better world building and lore than Dark Souls. Yeah, this guy can move like a friggin' robot. Do not want to get hit. Dang it. I wish I could just kill him before the dudes spawn. Oh, what? Dang. I hate those guys. <laughs> I didn't even see him spawn that time. Let's be honest, Vati Vidya is the only reason we have Dark Souls 2, 3, and Bloodborne, or even world building in Dark Souls 1. Actually, before, I think before Vati Vidya, there was like Epic Name Bro. Him and like, I think German Spy were doing lore videos first, I think. I might have just found them before body. I don't know if body started before or after them. But I love the Epic Name Bros Dark Souls stuff. I hit him! <laughs> nice. Dang it, he keeps doing that stupid back step. Stop it! No! Oh my god. Where is he? I thought I saw a guy. Where did you go? Got me with the sweeping hook. How long would you say this game is to play on average? It's actually a pretty short game. It's not a full price game. There's like three areas and like the main hub area that also has a lot to it. It's like a huge swamp with a little hub in it and there's like enemies in the swamp and stuff. But I'd say between four and eight hours depending on how deep you get into it. You can probably just skim through and beat it quicker, but where's the fun in that? Something about being shellless makes this seem so fast-paced. I think it's the huge stamina bar. Los Plagos, what's going on? Favorite Soulsborne game is Dark Souls 1. The level design, world building, and atmosphere and music out of any other Soulsborne game for me. It has a special place in my heart. Dark Souls 1 is definitely good. I like Demon's Souls better. Did you play Demon's Souls first? 
because going from Demon Souls to Dark Souls 1, I was like, mm, I like Demon Souls better. But I know a lot of people that play Dark Souls 1 first like it the best. But for me, I was like, it's called Dark Souls, and it's actually much, much brighter than Demon Souls. Kind of weird. Why is there the sun everywhere? His channel compiles all the information people have discovered. Does this guy move faster when your shell is... I think it's a lot to do with the fact that I'm doing a lot of running attacks. And rolling all over the place. Chikrin's going for Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2, and Sekiro. Sekiro's probably last on my list as well. No, put Dark Souls one last. No, I'm kidding. I like Sekiro. I just prefer like the role playing of Dark Souls. If I'm gonna do a story type game, I don't really want all the weird. Like you have to look it up online how to do it side quests. Stuff like that. Dude. Oh, I got him. I freaking got him. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> was not moving this fast with other characters. So, he might actually be moving faster. Or it could just be the stamina bar. Zero tar. Dude, I was hardening. Get out of here with that smash. EB and German Spy were the first two guys I found doing Souls content. Watch all EB, Demon Souls, and Dark Souls crushing by Lax Way and Chad. Okay, so. We got two people saying ENB and German Spy were the first. <laughs> Birdhead took me a while with Tyel. This is rough. It's obvious I'm not a good player. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, Secret. Stupid wave! Dang it. <sighs> Stupid waves. You only played Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. Well, that's a good pair to play. I did get lost. <laughs> you thought Ghost of Tsushima was pretty rubbish, to be honest. I never played it. I heard it was good, but if you're not playing it yourself, how can you really say? Why is he always doing that now? Oh. See, I hardened. 
That's how I roll. Ah! Ah! <sighs> twice with these. No, more than twice. Freaking. These guys suck. PlayStation 3 or Demon Souls or Dark Souls 1. <laughs> I don't I couldn't say which game has the best PvE. I feel like I enjoyed Demon Souls or Bloodborne the most. I don't know. I like them all for PvE, honestly. They each have their own little things that are cool. Stop doing that. More bubbles for you, Unchained. Huh. Huh. What? What? I was like locked onto him under the ground. Okay, this is bad. That only killed one of them. That sucks. Son of a squirrel's ant. I think Sekiro is probably the hardest. Platinum All Souls before Bloodborne. I never even thought I would beat it for a long time. Yeah, they're. <laughs> From going to Dark Souls, to Bloodborne, and to Sekiro, those three are like so different. Sushi Mama. All right, those guys should be spawning pretty soon. Oh, there they are. That's good. No, no! Oh my god. Not these friggin' dudes again. I hate these guys. The running attack is working the best so far. Ha! <laughs> 
got them both with that. <sighs> no. <laughs> I heard him, but I was out of heart and. Uh... Demon of Hatred was so hard. Demon of Hatred and Owl Father and Ishan Sword Saint took me like three days each. Because I only played it for like three hours at a time. Oh, Tenta, what's going on? Bloodborne is your favorite. Aggressive, but souls like gameplay and playstyle has a match. Is a match made in heaven? Only using the katana? Yeah, that's true. In terms of combat and bosses, Bloodborne was the best for you. Bloodborne is just so unique. But I think Demon Souls is probably my favorite, story-wise, gameplay-wise. I don't know about PvP, because I haven't played it in forever. <laughs> so we'll find out. I knew Sekiro was a masterpiece when I first heard Ekuzo Sekiro! The Lovecraftian elements hit. Oh, Jacob! <laughs> hit Jacob in the heart. I like Demon Souls bosses because they were all so unique and many unconventional. In Dark Souls 3, so many of the bosses just felt like the same kind of fight. That. I guess it's true, but at the same time, it's like Dark Souls 3 came out after everybody. But, what are you gonna do? Stupid waves! Oh, I almost got friggin' chicken demon egged. That's a good time to use your resolve attack. Alright. Stupid guys are. Back. I hate when they're like surrounding you. I'll have to roll for a long time until I get my bearings on where all those guys are. My favorite line from Sekiro though was My name is Giobu Masataka Oniwa. Rom fight anyone? <laughs> Good old Rom. There wasn't so many variety in Demon's Souls bosses, especially when it came to the areas having horizontal platforms with the Leechmonger. Well, there was so much variety. Yeah, I thought the Demon's Souls bosses were good. Some of the hardest stuff for me has been Bloodborne, Depth 5, Cursed, Chalice Dungeons. Whew. Yep, that does sound hard. <laughs> Called Wormfish? No! fell right on me and I died. Yeah, I really love that cursed Thumerian elder fight. So fun. Let's see. That's 
going to be a notable fight from Bloodborne. From Dark Souls 2, I love the Alon fight. That was super fun. Dark Souls 3, probably Gale. I mean, come on. Dark Souls 1, Asylum Demon, of course. Best fight, big booty. And what else? There? Sekiro. I like the armored knight guarding the bridge. <laughs> Just because he has like armor on. But probably not my favorite fight. Maybe Guardian A? Ah, oh, damn it. Drops his head on me again. Be you beat Queen Yarnum first time and you suck. I don't remember how hard she is. Need demonic power to combat demonic forces. Gale was so badass. Dirty Colossus was cool. I don't know, probably like Ishin on the bad ending. Like after you fight that girl, what's her name? Emma. It's probably my favorite boss. No, don't do that. It's too late. Too hard for you. You gotta be kidding me. Queen Yarm is made out of paper. Is she? Is that lore? She's a paper doll? Guardian Ape sucks. Uh, yeah, I think Ishin is my favorite. Bloodborne Magic was my favorite for the looks. Dark Souls Magic is very bland. Yeah, in Demon Souls, it's kind of cool how there's just magic and not pyromancy. So there's like differences because like there's some spells that are fire. You thought you were getting away. You're going nowhere. Hope. All right, those guys should be coming out. I don't see them yet. Ah! I see you now. I wish he would hurt them when he's rolling around <laughs> like a crazy person. Boom! What? I can't believe I missed. What the hell is going on? <laughs> that dude's glitching out in the ground. 
His arm was just gyrating. Don't do that. What a clutch Harden. Attack myth. Dang it. Glock Saint Asian. <laughs> he just transformed into John Wick. I love that large sword of moonlight is a faith weapon in demons. Since I love faith builds, also the HP regen is OP. Dude, that's my favorite. I remember starting up Demon Souls, and I was like, you know, the Halberd's probably going to suck, because that's what I want to use. And they always make stuff that's kind of like, should be good, like the Halberd. Games always make it bad. But I used it, and I was like, well, it's actually pretty good. I'm going to just stick with it, because that's what I want to do. And just everything was, like, working for me. Good old Demon Souls, man. Gotta love it. Don't. Oh my god. Get back here, bird. God, don't do this while I'm fighting these guys. Okay, at least there's no waves. That's the worst part when there's waves. Jeez, man. Ah, oh, one heck of a fight when you can't take any damage. <laughs> just like paranoid those guys are gonna pop out oh look there they are dang it man friggin obsidian dude is the worst Dark Souls 1 favorite boss, Ornstein and Smo. Okay, I changed my favorite boss from Asylum Demon to Ornstein and Smo. Dark Souls 2, mine is still going to be Alon. 3, I agree with you at Gale. Bloodborne, Orphan. What did I say my Bloodborne was? Oh, the Curse of Tumerian. <sighs> Orphan or Curse of Tumerian? I'm going to go with Curse of Tumerian because no one picks that. I want to be cool. Orphan honestly gave me RSI. 
What is RSI? <laughs> Rage, stress, induced, nothing. I got it down to one or Got it down to one more hit to kill and died so many times. Yeah, I know how that goes, man. I found Lawrence harder than Ook. That damage and that health pool is just redonkulous. Lawrence is a pain. I hated him on New Game Plus. I don't remember having problems with him on New Game, though. Dark Souls Spear make me cry. <laughs> Uh, Jacob. Is this the final boss? It is! Unchained is like Rom the Vacuous Spider. Lugwig is like Beast Form and Chicken Embryo at the same time. The ads make this so hard for a no shell run. They do. Repetitive strain injury. He just makes your eye twitch, gives you stress headaches. Maybe that's not what you're talking about, but that's what I'm thinking of. And in the head. Power punch! Dude, I almost missed that guy. I almost got smashed by giant turkey man. Maybe I should do R2s instead of running R2s. Running R2s are cool though. Oh, that was so close. I was afraid he was going to kill me with his beak just dropping there. Slashed him in the schnoz. Back here, you. Oh no. <laughs> I was not dying that time. Alright, where are these guys at? I know they're gonna pop up any second now. I see you. But unfortunately, I have to keep my eyes on everybody. This is tough. Oh, jeez. I did the wrong attack. Oh, damn it. Freaking surround me. Six of them, jeez. Bad pain in the tendons in your hand. Oh, I see what you mean. You were getting a little RSI fighting Flame Lurker the other night on New Game Plus with this low level build. Being sleep deprived didn't help. <laughs> You probably got weak hands. Mm. I mean, if you're doing the same motion over and over and over again, that wears down the muscles. And they get hardened. You get tendonitis. Jacob knows all about that. You ask him. 
Probably should have saved that till he got up. Hold on. Oh. Man. <laughs> got waved. I remember my fingers would get tired playing, uh, what the heck is it? Guitar Hero. You guys remember Guitar Hero? That was fun. I got like a really stiff base of my neck. It is rock solid. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I set him on fire and he started rolling around in the water. That's perfect. Alright, gotta be careful. I went too fast. And I overshot the wave. Seen him. <sighs> that part is so hard for Shell this run, man. I've seen things that'll scare you, Shellless. <laughs> good one, Steve. That was a good one. Stretch, rest, water, magnesium. <laughs> you have Smeagol. Is there an accent on Smeagol? I didn't know that. I feel like Smeagol hands are just like really thin, but like bigger joints. Not necessarily bigger, but they appear bigger because of how thin the rest of his hands are. Poked me good with that beak. He's a big beaky boy. Dude, I don't know how I'm going to fight these obsidian foundlings. I wish there were like throwing knives you can kill them in one hit with. <laughs> I love when I set him on fire and then he starts rolling around. Too good. I was nowhere near you. I hate when he does the wrong attack. You, brother. Dude, that was inside his beak. How dare you, game. After all we've been through.
egg drop thing is so weird. Egg drop noodle soup. Don't make waves though. Dive, but don't make waves. Okay, I like that. Just like paranoid, those friggin' guys are gonna pop out. Did a lot of damage to them. Okay, there they are. The regular old R2 seems to work better. Seems safer. Jeez, how many of these guys are there? Oh no. Oh, okay. There's just so much you have to keep track of during that spot. What's up, Bunny? Cody, what's up? Can't stay for long. Just wanted to wish you luck on Big Bird Boss. <laughs> egg drop soup is pretty damn good. I like it. Drop a little egg in there. Mm. But what's even better is bacon egg drop soup. That's the Americanized version. Shoot. Oh, we're already at the guys. Got him! <laughs> Got him mid-air. Ooh, more guys already. Oh no, not waves and guys. Oh my god, I made it. Maybe the R1 is actually the best. <laughs> This is definitely the farthest I've ever got. All right. I don't think I've ever gotten past two waves of guys before. Oh, 
Uh, stop it. Is he going to do the whirlpool now? I'm not looking forward to the... Oh. I knew it was coming, but still. Yeah. Uh, I don't, uh. <laughs> That's the part I was dreading the most this entire fight. I love tornado egg soup. I never heard of that. Lamb and radish soup. That sounds good. There's kind of like two phases. It's really just one phase, and then he does that whirlpool that heals him. Bacon egg drop soup sounds great. Like you say, drop a bit more meat into it. Make it American. I had barbecue as Texas several years ago. It was so good. Texas food, man. Gotta love it. I don't even think there's a cool unlock. I think you just get a trophy. <laughs> that part is gonna suck. That part is gonna be friggin' impossible. Or as close to impossible as you can get without actually being impossible. Maybe I can just do so much damage he doesn't even do the whirlpool. <laughs> okay. A little too fast, I guess. What's up, Gabriel? Got here in time? Yes. I might actually have to do this in two eps. I'm starting to get tired. Like, I had a rush of adrenaline for that fight, and then when I died at the whirlpool, I was like... Ah. Now I feel all deflated. Back here. Dang it. Stop doing that. <laughs> was that dang it I hate the, those friggin guys that's just like cheap dude having friggin I want to say like nine people including the bird man all on the screen at the same time coming from different directions <laughs> but the worst part is you die in one hit Oh, 
All right, I didn't think I was gonna make that. Come on. What? That dude just like spawned on my body. What happened? <laughs> Let me watch this replay on the chat. Just did a running attack. Just did my resolve attack that missed. Oh no. He just dove at me from behind. Okay. Damn. Those ads are so crappy. What ads are we talking about? Wendy's? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't think Wendy's ads are bad. I'm just thinking about Wendy's because that pub burger was so good. That's right. Get parried. It was like I poked him and he flew back. Oh, you little bastard. Oh. Maybe I should do dodge attack. That seems to be the safest. when he dodges my resolve attack. What the heck? <laughs> hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> I saw a guy in the distance over there. I thought that's where they were spawning from. Oh, dang it. Screw those guys, man. Oh, ads, like the people that come in. The additional, okay, never mind. This game looks sick. Is it made from Dark Souls Bloodborne people? No. Arm Wrestle Bear. It's an independent small studio, I think. But, yeah, very good game. What time you died to Birdman dropping his head... That time you died to Birdman, dropping his head, you were killed by the Nap of Doom. Indeed. Now I'm intrigued by Pub Burger. You have bars in America, not pubs. What? What's the difference? I don't know. I don't go to those places very much. Is it the booths? Is that what makes a pub a pub? Is it booths? Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh. I think the first thing you have to do is find the spawn. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Maybe you can gather them all up in a group. That might work. Hitting like two at a time seems to work. Ugh. You dirty fart person. Where is your honor, Birdman? Attacking me in the menu. That is... Very unsportsmanlike behavior. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Pubs are British. There's a huge difference in style you just have to experience. Usually when people say you just have to see it or you have to experience it, it's because there's not really a difference. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't believe you. But what's the difference? I'm thinking about continuing this next time. Because this bird is getting on my nerves. Oh, come on. <laughs> I guess you do have to dodge. That sucks. Martyr's shawl. Maybe I should use a martyr's blade. I don't think changing weapons would do anything. The only thing that's killing me is those stupid, like, extra spawns. <sighs> oh, fell me again. All right, I'm going to go until. 7 p.m. Central Time.
which is 24 minutes. 24 minutes is all I can spare. Because damn. Bitch bird is annoying me. The unchained. Bird unchained. Oh, now look at me. It's difficult to explain, but it's different. Trust me. It's just more British. Is everyone talking with X? Oh, that was probably bad. <laughs> I just... I can't picture a pub that's not a bar, or a bar that's not a pub. Is I feel like maybe it's the lighting and boots. I am dying like all over the place now. I think I've reached my limit. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to seven. I just feel like I have to kill him or do so much damage that maybe the whirlpool doesn't come. If that's even possible. I don't think it is. I need some help. That's so annoying. Like, I do so much damage to this guy. I could take him out no problem. It's just these guys. <laughs> varied accents oh okay so the difference is pubs have varied accents okay I don't think you're saying bars aren't good but like I just don't I don't see how a pub is different because I don't know what a, I've never been to a pub I don't know what it is Are you just pulling my leg and they're the exact same thing? Oh my god. <laughs> he sent me flying. Oof. In Germany, there is Nipe. Is that Nipe? That's my guess. What's the worm fish going to do? Take me away? I can't do anything to boost my stats. Flaming Birdman.
Cancel if I got him, I don't think I did. Oh, no. We're back. And Birdman is here. Oh, jeez, that Harden got messed up. of the community but what what makes them a pub as opposed to a bar <laughs> it's pronounced like canipe canipe I usually just drink alone at home Twice. What? That was totally inside of me. I can't believe that it didn't connect. Oh my god. Find the multi hit strategy. Is that all of them? I think so. Comes a dude. Dang it. The freaking Harden. I need more Harden. In Brazil, we call them bars, but the singular is literally just bar. Oh, man. Maybe 
Maybe I should just roll that so I can save my heart in, in case there's a little black dude running around doing black dude stuff. Maybe I shouldn't call them black dudes. <laughs> you know what I meant, though. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Stop hardening for that. Oh, hey. What's up, guy? Ah, oh, jeez. I was looking at those guys, and he just skated up. Slap me in the face. You like German beats? I think you meant beats, not beers. You're just embarrassed to admit that you love the German beat. Yep, still fighting. <laughs> I'm just going to fight him for another 12 minutes. Because he's just that hard. He's actually not hard. It's just the stupid black guys that gangbang me. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Baguette. I do enjoy a good baguette. I love some like salami and some cheese with a little baguette. I like salami and cheese without baguette. Salami and cheese and olives. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta get out of that habit. His ribs. Double running attack. Oh man, that scared the life out of me. Oh, this is bad. Dude, I hit R1 and then L1. <laughs> I meant to hit R1 and then L2. Gosh. Man, this fight. Mm. It's rough. It's a rough one. Need the simple loot. <laughs> okay, loot doesn't do anything. Although, I didn't actually get to play it. Maybe if I play the loot, it won't summon the obsidian foundlings. What's a shot? I mean, it's probably not going to do anything, but might as well try. Nope, <laughs> doesn't do anything. That would have been funny if playing the loot actually had an effect on the battle. 
like uh, gas coin and playing the music box. Funny is the wrong word. That would be awesome. It'd be a nice detail. All right, I'm going for eight more minutes. See if we can pull it off. Whew. Is this possible without a shell? Uh, people have done it. Not me, but people have done it. Oh, I got him somehow. Okay. It came out early. Dude, that was just luck, see? <laughs> that hard and not being there really sucks. Have you guys ever had mead? I was going on like a a beer walk or something. It was pretty cool that they held it at an arboretum in Illinois when I was living over there. And they had just a bunch of breweries, like 20, 30. And you would get, I think, 12 tickets. And you just walk around the Arboretum and go to their little tents and try whatever kind of beer you wanted. There was a couple of them that made mead. Interesting. <laughs> Got him again. Oh, missed him that time. By a lot, too. Okay. This is... Everyone wanted. Maybe it is easier to corral them. Someone had mentioned that. I can't remember who it was, but. Seems like it might be the trick. Missed. I thought that hit him. Huh. At least a couple batches. Do them in sections. Ah, oh, jeez. Mead, the honey drink. I hate mead. I didn't really like it either. But I want to give it a second chance because when I had it, it was like at the end of the night. 
It was also in winter. There was Christmas lights everywhere. That really doesn't have any effect on the mead, though. <laughs> but I had it at the end after I drank, like, a bunch of other beers and stuff. And I was, like, frozen and... Just drinking and it was at the point where I was like, I don't want to drink anymore. Then I had mead and I was just like, no. I'm not. No. Oh, Zorak, that was you. Thank you. Isaac, what's up? You and your videos are awesome. Thank you so much, man. In England, you give mead to newlyweds for a month to get them sexy. That's why you say honeymoon. Oh, well. I had no idea where honeymoon came from. I don't know if you really need help getting sexy, though. I mean, kind of just happens, right? <laughs> Come on, mate. Alright, this is probably going to be the last one. I like kind of waiting for them to get close. Killing those ads in a batch of three or so. I think that's going to help. I have no idea what to do with the Whirlpool, though. I think I might just let him get full health from it. Just saw him take off. Bird flight. Unchained bird. God, it's so annoying having to keep track of all that at once. No! I wasted my resolve attack. That was a direct hit with the egg. I just iframed the crap out of it. Should have hardened. Man, that's that is a shame. <sighs> Do your British accent this time? <laughs> I don't. I don't do it very often. I can't even picture how to speak. I'll do one more with a British accent. All right, bird man, yeah. I'm gonna slice you asunder. That sounds so bad. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I have to listen to people speaking British before I can do it.
I didn't think he was going to reach that far. All right, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'll, let's listen to some British people so I can get the accent going for you next time. Isaac, oh, he just popped in. This is the end, sir. Your Dark Souls 3 Zway video where you do the Sigward impression is one of your best. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. That was fun. That was really fun. I liked Myth's Worker Garb one, to be honest. What was that? Wiggle wig, give him a tickle under the chin. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know many British sayings. Cream knackered? Is that one? Anyways. I was going to do the loot like I always do, but... Can't loot when Birdman is there. We saw that already. So thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for all your kind words. Thank you, Isaac. On the next episode, <laughs> we're going to do that again. And that'll be Tuesday. And I may or may not use a British accent the entire time. Mortal Shell. The Shellless Playthrough. Episode 6. The Final Boss. We're going to continue. And hopefully this time. We're actually going to win. I like on the Sigward when you launch the guy with his wayhander. Katarina into space. <laughs> oh, -ho! thumb. Oh, I'm just ending the episode. But thanks for dropping by. <laughs> I sound like generic BBC, <laughs> BBC British, but my friend has a very different accent. Yeah, I, there's a bunch of different. There's like Cockney, Black. Not Blackwater. Liverpool. I had a couple English professors. One, I think, was from Liverpool. And she said, I think, her S weird. There were a couple words she just said so weird. Like, she couldn't say subtle. She would say susel. Very interesting. Next stream, beat him first try. Well, it could happen. Stuff like that happens all the time. Have a good one, Umbasa. All right, guys. Enjoy. And I always laugh when someone refers to the BBC. <laughs> one time my friend was like, oh, I was watching BBC. I was like, oh, you like BBC? He was like, oh, yeah, I like BBC. <laughs> I was just... Just laughing to myself. Uh, good times. Oh no, Tron, John. Got here just as I'm signing off. Well, don't worry. I didn't beat him. There's more to come. What is Kiwi Moose? <laughs> Anyways. Tuesday. Same time, same place. This time, we win. This is Moose Torrent, and fare thee well.